national right to work bill would be. And let me just repeat that into the mic that the question is comments uh, on a national right to work bill coming later today. I think the people of Ohio have spoken on um, what Senate Bill 5. I think it was over 60% when it went to the ballot. Um, I think that when it comes to right to work, it obviously hasn't passed the General Assembly because you know not only is it about union people, but it's about friends and neighbors that understand the ramifications of and, and the um, wage problems that, that Ohioans will face if something like that was to pass. And so similar to Senate Bill 5 when it wasn't just union people fighting the bill, it was Ohioans fighting the bill because they understand the negative implications of a piece of legislation like that. Um, I'll have to look more into the, uh, the bill that's being proposed in Congress. I had not heard that. Uh, that's very interesting. I know they're trying to also do some right to work at local levels in counties and townships throughout um, you know, different states and unions. So it's an attack on workers' rights every which way from local, state, and federal now. I voted against Senate Bill 5, and I would just have to echo what Joe just said. I voted against it, and the people of Ohio have spoken very clearly how they feel on that particular issue. In right to work state, um, on average, uh, wages tend to be about $400, $435 less. Uh, the incidence of fatal accidents in the workplace uh, is, is higher. Uh, and, and, and several other negative things that, that there's some correlation to, or have been made some correlations to. I think legislation like this sends the message to working people um, and it galvanizes them that um, that what happens to them and their best interest and some of the things we talked about here today, what's in the best financial interest, what's in the best interest of the average working person, it sends a clear message, at least from Congress, that, that, that that's not what's, what's on their mind. And, and it's one of those things that helps people sort of focus that they may have thought somebody cared about them more than they do, and, and those are the kinds of pieces of legislation um, that, that focus people. The implication for Ohio is when you have something like that, people actually start paying attention and, 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 and show up, and that's what Senate Bill 5 was reflective of this. And as, as Joe or, 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 or Scott said, you know, people here have spoken, and, and, and it wasn't always somebody in labor that said, you know, hey, I'm not a, even a union person, but I don't feel that that's right. I feel that they should have access to this. And when people really know what right to work is, because it sounds good, but it, it forces a union to, to, uh, uh, to um, address the issues of a non-union uh, worker and pay for it. And even if um, that worker doesn't pay, the union dues and doesn't like the performance that they did in defending that worker's rights, they have the ability to sue that union. Anybody, union or non-union, knows that that is patently an unfair system to set up. And so um, if they want to drag that out to the public discord <coughs> and let people actually get to know what that kind of stuff is, I, you know, I think that the ramifications politically are probably bad. Uh, but uh, you know, in Ohio, Union, non-union, uh, people have kind of said, we, we think people deserve uh, a fair shake and the ability to, to negotiate uh, uh, fair wages and, and conditions in the workplace. And I think they'll respond negatively to that kind of legislation. So uh, I have no idea what the congressional bill says. Uh, I wasn't here for Senate Bill 5, so I didn't vote on it. Um, I think everybody uh, understands Senate Bill 5 was, was pretty expansive as far as what it took in. Um, so uh, that contributes to that. The flip side of what the leader said and what people would argue is uh, just because you go to work somewhere it shouldn't force you to have to join a union. <coughs> so that's the other side that I hear a lot. Um, but you know, look, we've got a lot of thorny issues we talk about every GA. And uh, this one comes up every GA. I have no idea. We haven't sat down and, and mapped out a game plan on it or anything like that, but uh, it's, it's something that our members, a uh, certain amount of them certainly care deeply about, you know, along with the RV bill and other issues that are, uh, that are controversial. So it's something that uh, is, is something that, that we will continue to talk about without a doubt, I'm sure. Uh, just one point of a clarification, and I don't necessarily disagree with my colleague, but current law already says that people can't make you join a union. So that it's not necessary for that purposes, I just want to point that.